Uh, my name is and I played the character of the informant in Project Breakwater. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how I met Brian. Uh, it's a traumatic moment like that is something you remember the rest of your life, but uh, it's really traumatic. You black it right out, so I have to kind of dig down there into the pain and pull out that memory. Uh, I actually remember uh, the facilitator of that, someone who's used to causing other people pain, her name was uh, Michelle Adams. She got me involved with this guy, Brian. Moment. I'll find her someday, I'll pay her back. That's how I uh, got involved with Project Breakwater. Once I was in, I couldn't get out. I mean, you try to get out, you struggle, you just go deeper. It's like being in a spider's web, you know. A little bit of struggle, you know, if you struggle more, the spider's coming closer, he'll find you. So you try not to struggle, but you're still trying to get out, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just lose control. You just lose it, and then you get all tangled up, and then the spider comes, those big eyes come at you in the dark, those big pinchers coming for you. But you know he's not hungry enough yet, so he's gonna wait. Wait until he's really hungry, and then he's gonna move in, so you still got a little time. That's basically how I felt all the way through filming Project Breakwater. I'm getting therapy now. I'm in uh, rehab as well. I'm doing okay. I've had a couple of relapses. I guess that's kind of why I blocked it out. Maybe it's better if I never remember it. But uh, you asked, so I... Well, there was the uh, car scene where we used the fog and uh, filling the interior of the uh, car with fog to the point where we wouldn't even know, we could even see the interior of the car or each other. I mean, there was so much fog in there. Uh, you know, we were kicking out the windows, we were doing all kinds of crazy shit like that. And uh, I don't know, and then things were poking in the windows, cameras, microphones, and uh, you know, crazy shit happened. That was weird. Uh, well, I liked the baseball game because I got to go, and that was cool. And uh, when you go to your seat, uh, you know, 16 or 17 times for retakes. Sometimes these people think you're going, you know, doing more than just going to the washroom, getting another bigger popcorn, another beer, you know. But we fooled. I just uh, completed uh, a feature film called Sex or at Night, which is about zombies. Just before that, we did a short film called The, uh, Prospect of the uh, Prospector's Curse. We have another project called Human Pieces, which is uh, a feature film. Yes, I thought, uh, I actually saw a couple of reviews of Brian's work, Brian Clement's work, and uh, you know, he's uh, he's got quite a reputation out there from Vancouver, but now he's in one of ours down here in Toronto. And uh, I thought, uh, it was anyway, it was really good to work on the project. I think uh, Brian uh, does wonderful, uh, you know, imaginative work, quite different than any other uh, projects. That's why, you know, he's a unique individual director. And I think the work's quite creative and has, uh, has a kind of uh, joyful component to to uh, aside from the you know science fiction and uh, terrorism and the you know kind of serious plot points. So anyway, it's great to work with him. Did I go on too long? <laughs> yeah, you can cut out a lot. <laughs>